Hi guys, the new Dark Angel Index is out. If you haven't checked it out yet, you need to check it out after this video. It's really, really cool. And I'm gonna run you through three of my favorite things about the new Dark Angel Codex. Enjoy the video, guys. So the first of the three units I wanna to talk to you guys about today is Azrael. Azrael's really, really cool. He's one of the main characters for Dark Angels. And I think it's just great seeing him on the battlefield. And I think we're going to see him a little bit more now. His 4 plus invulnerable aura has become units within 6 inches of him rather than models like it used to be. So now like entire units of bikes or entire units of infantry will gain a 4 up invulnerable save for being within 6 inches of him. That's a really, really cool aura ability he has. He's also a chapter master. So he basically chooses one unit in every command phase and that unit gets full rerolls to hit for the turn. The key thing about it is they gain the full rerolls in the... Um, command phase, which means you can give them full rerolls and then they can go off and do their own thing. They don't have to stay around him, which I think is a really, really cool buff. So he is one of my favorite three things about the new book. And my second unit is the Dark Talon. I was looking at the Dark Talon because it was one of my favorite models for Dark Angels. I really like the way their plane looks slightly different from all the other Marine chapters. And the Rift Cannon really, really impressed me because it, it was so often that even if you rolled a good, a good roll for your Rift Cannon and you managed to get three shots, you hit twice and you got two wounds. The crazy thing about it before was you'd get two wounds and the big stuff that you wanted to do damage on would have like a four up invulnerable, maybe even a three up invulnerable save against those shots. Whereas now they just take three mortal wounds for every wound you do. They don't get a save. It's just if you successfully get a wound roll, the target just takes three mortal wounds instead of any damage which i think is brilliant because before you could you could hit just a standard marine that had one wound and a three up invulnerable save you could hit with a rift cannon they could just pass both three up invulnerables and nothing would happen to them well those days are gone now you can hit for example a custody unit which is super super tough and durable but you know they've they'll have two models that have got three wounds each and the minute you get two wounds with your dark talent Two, that's six mortal wounds. That's two custodes deleted without any saves. And I think for a cannon which is so big and is the main weapon on a plane, something like that is a really cool buff. I'm not saying it's super, super reliable. I'm just saying that's one of the things that I think is a really cool change for Dark Angels. And the third thing I wanted to talk about, guys, which I think is the biggest thing, is Deathwing Knights. I think Deathwing Terminators and Deathwing Knights have gotten a massive, massive buff from the way that the Inner Circle rule works now. They get the Inner Circle rule, and what it does is the biggest thing about it, it essentially gives you transhuman physiology, or what was transhuman physiology, for every single Deathwing unit. You can never wound them on better than a 4+. plus. So if you've got guns that are strength 10, plus one to wound, plus two to wound, well, can't get plus two to wound anymore, but like plus one to wound or extra strength and plus one to wound, all of these things that may be able to wound Deathwing Knights on two plus cannot do it anymore. You can only ever wound them on the roll of a four, five, or six, unless you're shooting them with a worse strength gun than their toughness. Then of course you wound them on fives and sixes, but it's like a strength 10 cannon will only wound them on fours. And that makes them really, really tough, like super durable units. And I think we're going to see quite a lot of them on the scene right now. So definitely go and check the index out, guys, because there are a few more really cool things in there that I haven't had time to mention in this video because I just wanted to mention three of my favorites. Please let me know what your favorite units are in the comments below, and then everybody can try them out and we can see where the Dark Angels are going to make a comeback because you haven't seen them in the competitive scene in a long time. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. See you later.